The Merchant and the Parrot. Once upon a time, there was a merchant who had a beautiful and sweet parrot in a small cage. There came a day when he was getting ready for his trip to India. He asked all his servants and maids, "What would you like me to bring for you as a souvenir?" Everyone ordered something. The merchant asked his parrot, "How about you? What would you like me to bring for you?" The parrot said, "When you see the parrots in India, explain my situation and tell them how much I am looking forward to seeing them, but that unfortunately I am trapped in this cage. Tell them that I send them greetings and how badly I need a remedy. Ask them, is it fair that I have to die in separation while yearning to see them?" Is it fair that I am a prisoner in this cage while they are in the garden and meadow? Oh, dear friends, remember this suffering bird. The merchant promised the parrot to deliver his message to the parrots of India. When he arrived there, he saw a few parrots on a tree. He stopped, greeted them, and delivered his parrot's message. Suddenly, one of the parrots fell off the tree and died right away. The merchant regretted delivering the message, and thought to himself, "I am the reason for this parrot's death. I was sure he was one of my parrot's relatives, or maybe they were one soul in two bodies. Why did I say that and caused him to die?" The merchant ended his business with sorrow and returned to his city. After giving out all the souvenirs he had brought, the parrot asked, "Where is my gift?" Did you deliver my message? What did the parrot say? The merchant said, "I really regret delivering that message so much, and I'll not say anything else. I was so ignorant, and from now on, I won't speak unknowingly." The parrot asked, "Why do you regret it? What happened? Why are you upset?" The merchant started talking. After the parrot insisted, he said. When I delivered your message to the parrots of India, one of them shivered right away and fell off the tree and died. That's why I'm so ashamed of saying that. But remorse is worthless. A word that has come out of the mouth is like a released arrow from the bow, that never comes back. As soon as the parrot heard the merchant's word, he shivered and fell. The merchant shouted and knocked his hat to the ground in agony and tore his clothes. He said, "My sweet bird, what happened to you? My eloquent bird just died. Oh, tongue, you are the cause of my sorrow and misery. Oh, tongue, you are both my endless treasure and also my endless suffering." The merchant moaned in grief, picked up the parrot and took it outside. At once. The parrot reanimated, perked up, and flew up a tall tree. The merchant was amazed and said, "My beautiful bird, what's the meaning of this? What did the parrot of India teach you to make me miserable?" The parrot said, "He advised me how I should act. He told me to let go of my speech, voice, and talking, because it's my voice that has brought me into captivity. To be free." You have to let go of your identity. You have to be nothing. If you are a seed, the birds will eat you, and if you are a bud, the children will unplug you. Then the parrot said goodbye to the merchant and flew away. The merchant said, "Goodbye, my dear bird. You have taught me a new path of life." Thanks for watching this video. If you like to see more of Rumi's stories, make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I'll see you soon.